all, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share my three favorite paleo lunch meals this week. I did in an earlier video do three easy paleo breakfasts. I can go ahead and tag that in our description below um, just so you can check that out if you're interested. But this week is three paleo lunch meals and I love food all the time, but lunch is awesome. I am usually at work when I'm eating lunch, um, obviously not on Saturdays and Sundays, so I do meal prep for these meals. Uh, so over the next three days, I will go ahead and show you what I'm making for lunch and just simple, easy paleo recipes that I hope you would enjoy. Day one is stuffed peppers. I'm meal prepping this on a Sunday. That way I could just take one pepper to go for work during the week. Um, so I'm making four peppers and I've done a little bit of preparation before I started. Okay, so I already uh, cut the tops of my peppers off. I went ahead and wrapped a pan in aluminum foil. And then if you look over here with the cut up, um, the topped cut pepper, I went ahead and chopped each of them so that I can put a different colored pepper in each of my different colored peppers. Uh, so I went ahead and chopped this. It's just you take the stem out and it's super easy. I have some chopped radishes. I already have some chopped onions. My Daya dairy-free cheddar shreds. Um, they're vegan cheese. It's pretty good. It's not really good on its own, but I do enjoy it in my meals. I have some eggs that I'm gonna to top it off with. And then my spices, I got garlic, paprika, Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, and chili, okay? I went ahead and preheated the oven to 375, and I started cooking my ground beef and my bacon. That looks like a mess, but I promise it's not burned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead Back to my stuffed peppers and stuff them. That's really all you have to do. Okay, so first we're gonna stuff it with some of the ground beef I had. If it's not cooked all the way, it's okay because it's gonna spend 45 minutes in the oven. Then we'll grab some peppers. Okay, next we're going to do the bacon. I usually do this on pizza night because the same ingredients we use for the stuffed peppers we usually put in our pizza and so anything we have left over we could just throw on top of a pizza okay then we're going to put our radishes on and then some onions seasoning on now just a little bit of garlic some paprika Himalayan sea salt And last but not least, some chili powder. Just to give it a little bit of spice. Alright, and then all we have to do now is crack an egg over each one of them, which could be a little scary.
some cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more eggs and cheese on the rest of them and then throw them on in the oven. Okay, now that these are finished, we're just going to throw them in the oven for four to five minutes. And then once they're out, you can let them cool down for 10 minutes and then pack them for lunch. But those are the stuffed peppers. Um, sometimes your eggs do go crazy and run away and fall out. But that's okay because they're super yummy anyways. Hey y'all, so day two is gonna be some sandwich wraps and I like these just because they're super easy. I use leftover meat that I have and then whatever vegetables or fruit I have to add on my wrap. So as per usual, I have my little station set up. I know these look weird. This one is the original coconut wrap from Thrive, and then this one is the turmeric wrap from Thrive Market. So these are coconut wraps. They're completely paleo and delicious. I have some leftover um, taco seasoned chicken. I had tacos the other day. You can find that recipe on my Instagram if you're interested. I'm gonna use all of these ingredients for both of my wraps, but I'm just gonna use a different dressing. So for my coconut wrap, I'm going to just have some ranch. I use Primal Kitchen's avocado oil one. This is paleo. And then for my turmeric one, I added uh, half of an avocado, a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice, and then blended it in my Ninja and got this little dressing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. All right, so let's start with the original coconut wrap first. I'm just gonna put a little bit of ranch on it. some chicken and then I have some onions and radishes sliced up in here I just love the flavor that radishes give everything that I make and then I have some tomatoes as well and that one is finished it's super easy all you have to do is use your leftover ingredients from your other paleo meals from the week so now with my turmeric wrap I have the avocado mixture and then I'm just gonna do the same spinach chicken it's a big piece of chicken the onions and radishes and then tomatoes to top it all you have to do now is just roll your wrap together I use a napkin to hold it together once I wrap it and then I add this to my lunchbox and take it to work and that's a wrap hey y'all it is day of my easy paleo lunch so this one is going to be probably the easiest and most frequent recipe that I use just because it's super quick and yummy and it's pasta okay so when I said pasta you guys are probably like girl you know you can't eat that well this is what I use it is sheer talking noodles they're called wonder noodles there's different brands I get mine from Thrive Market today I'm gonna use spaghetti but I wanted to go ahead and show you they do have like angel hair they have fettuccine, um, 
They do look very weird and like iridescent -y, but they're super easy. All you have to do is take them out of the packet, wash them like um, in a strainer, and then heat them up. So it takes like two minutes. And then I have some peeled tomatoes. I put this in my food processor with garlic, basil, Italian seasoning, rosemary, parsley, oregano, and Himalayan sea salt. And that is how I make my tomato sauce. Um, it's just super simple, very flavorful, if you can see all my spices. And then I'm just going to heat up some of my kalbasa roasted garlic smoked sausage. And this one does have a little bit of cane syrup in it. Um, so if you are concerned about that, it is organic evaporated cane syrup, but still it's cane syrup. But I couldn't find any of the chicken sausage that I wanted and I didn't want to just have pasta today. So I went ahead and got this one. Okay, so step one is to combine your peeled tomatoes and your spices in your food processor. And then I'm gonna turn it on and pulse it. Step two is to get your sausage cooking a little bit. I have avocado oil in here, but I have it on medium heat. I'm just gonna do this for about 10 minutes until they're a good brown color, and then eat them up. Step three is to wash your noodles out. So I have my little Brita filter, and I like just putting my filtered water on it. And then you just kind of wash it like so. And then heat them up. It's really easy, simple. And these noodles are actually really yummy even though they do look kind of weird. Okay, so here is the final product. We have the noodles with the pasta sauce, the sausage, and then any extra pasta sauce you do have, I put mine in a jar and save it for later. Um, you can use it for pizza or any other kind of Italian dish that you'd like. But this is my super easy pasta recipe. Hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching my three easy paleo lunch recipes. If you have any questions, please put those down in the comments below. I'll be sure to put all of my ingredients in the descriptions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.